Welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and today I'm going to do a little unboxing for you. I did some shopping at Golden Goose this week and like what's the point of getting something new and shiny if you can't share it with your friends on the internet, right? If you watched my 2022 luxury wishlist video from a couple weeks ago, you know I had some Golden Goose kind of in my radar. Even so, it was kind of like an impulse buy sort of thing. I don't know. Me and John were just like hanging out yesterday and he was like, Wanna go to Golden Goose? And I was like, yeah. So we just walked over and came home with a pretty bag. Um, I will tell you, I did not get the pair, the specific pair that I talked about in my wish list video. I did go to the store with the intention of buying those shoes, specific ones, if they had them, and if not, just kind of trying on the style sizing, all that, and then I was just going to order them online, but I got to the store, I saw these, I tried them on, and I was like, <laughs> you're coming home with me. I honestly, I don't even know, I didn't even ask what style they are, I didn't, I don't know anything about them, honestly, I kind of, I forget what they look like now, I just bought them yesterday, so it's going to be a little surprise unboxing for me too, but whatever, let's just go ahead and crack this baby open. I love the bag, I love the handles, I love a nice hearty strap. Honestly, it's not half the fun of getting a luxury item is like the packaging, right? So I guess my receipt here will tell me what style of shoe I bought, I suppose. Let's find out. Cause I didn't even, I was just like, I like them, I'm buying them. Okay, so they are Superstar Canvas and Napa Upper Glitter, that's what my receipt says. So they're Golden Goose Superstars. Okay. Here is the box that they came in. It kind of doesn't look big enough to hold two shoes. Like I know there's two shoes in here, but like, doesn't it look kind of like small? It's got this like, you know, detailing Golden Goose sneakers all around. On the back, it says, oh, you, <laughs> The back says you have just purchased it. On the back, it says you have just purchased an authentic Golden Goose product. Use this box to store your sneakers. They will rest comfortably, ready to be worn again. Actually, I don't store my sneakers in their boxes. I do sometimes put them in their dust bags. Like my Chanel's are always in their dust bags. And then it says Dreamed in Venice. I did not know, honestly, that this was an Italian brand. Nobody cares about that. Much. Everyone sitting at home is like, open the fucking box up. Like, I'm gonna open the fucking box. Okay. Oh, the inside has words too. Dear lover, your golden goose journey starts here. Fasten your seatbelt and enjoy it. Aw, nice. I like that. I guess they have like a dream theme. Cause here's the dust bag. It says for dream use only, not designed for other activities. Oh, this is <laughs> for the right shoe, I suppose. Or maybe, if, maybe this is just one, I don't know. Okay, are you ready to see? I got these ones. Oh, you can't even see the good part. I got these ones. Look how cute these are. Let me see. Oh, it doesn't say what color they are in here. But these are like a white-ish, I say ish because Golden Goose looks dirty, um, white-ish shoe with silver sparkles. It came with these silver laces that I really like, they're cute. And a cheetah half star. The back has this black glitter strip and the soles are hot pink. <gasps> That's actually kind of part of what sold them for me because I was I was looking at another pair and they were pink and I was like, oh, super cute. But then I was like, oh, I have a lot of pink sneakers already and I just bought another pair of pink Nikes. So like, eh. And then I picked these up and I saw the pink sole and I was like, oh, it's perfect. It's got the silver that I wanted and it's got a pop of pink. I love that. Let me get the other one out. So here you go. These are my Golden Goose Superstars that I impulse bought yesterday. Not technically an impulse buy because like I was planning on 
buying a pair of Golden Goose this year, but like these specific ones were an impulse buy. I do still really want the ones that Sarah Tripp was wearing at the Raiders game, and I'm, I still have my heart set on those, but these are, I'm, I'm glad I bought these yesterday. Um, so these are a size 39. I always take a 39 in my luxury shoes. I tried them on, they fit and feel exactly like my Gucci Ace sneakers. I've heard like through the grapevine that Golden Goose are super like uncomfortable or whatever. I've also heard that they feel like Gucci A sneakers. I think my Gucci A sneakers are super comfortable, so I don't foresee having an issue with these. I just, I can't, they're sparkly and cute. And I just, I love the little cheetah print detail. I just think it's super adorable. John and I were talking about the brand yesterday. Obviously we went to the store, we were like looking around. We're very different people in this respect. He's like kind of a perfectionist. He's really, really into shoes. Like he's he has more shoes than I do. He's he's the male Carrie Bradshaw. So I was kind of like half expecting him to, you know, want to buy a pair of shoes for himself yesterday too. And I know he was looking around. So anyway, we were talking, and he said that he couldn't get into this brand because of the way they're designed to look beat up and worn in and for me that's like the draw because I don't really have to baby them because they're meant to look worn right they talk about buy to wear right anything that I scuff these with is honestly it's just gonna enhance, enhance the look and I love that and I really I can't stop looking at this pink bottom if you guys don't know I kind of like I have a thing for pink so like this is like super exciting for me but anyway this is what I bought and I love them and they smell so good oh they have that beautiful intoxicating new leather smell I feel like I could get high off of that I feel like I am getting high off of it but yeah that's it I'll keep you guys updated if I like them if I find them comfortable if I you know, would spend the money to buy another pair. I just I can't stop looking at them. They're just so cute. That's why I can't do unboxings because I unbox things and then I just like want to stare at them and love them and pet them and smell them and lick them and do all the weird things that I like to do with my luxury goods. Oh my God, they smell so good. Okay, I'm, I'm legit getting high on this shoe right now. Do you guys have Golden Goose shoes? Do you love them? Are, are you the sneaker people? Like, I feel like I love luxury shoes but the only ones i like are sneakers like i like the look of heels and things like that but like i'm gonna pay 700 dollars for an uncomfortable shoe you know what i mean i want well these might be uncomfortable i don't know i want a good good sneaker i'm just so happy i'm so happy anyways that is it for today's video i just wanted to show you guys a little eye candy of what i brought home yesterday i am going to go figure out how i can bottle this scent and wear this perfume because it's so good. Give me all of your Golden Goose opinions and luxury sneaker opinions in general in the comments down below. And I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye.